Hi guys, Rufan from Overclocking TV. I want to show you some uh, new stuff that we can see in the Gigabyte booth. Actually, it's one of the prototypes they have for the uh, Z67 uh, XP7. So that's their new uh, line of motherboard. So actually this board is kind of replacing the top of the range one that you will see. It's not yet out, it will be maybe uh, later this year. It will be released for sure, but they don't know when exactly now. And what we can see from uh, the, the board, actually is the, uh, we have the four slot of RAM, the, uh, Z77, so that's normal. We have 32 phases for the for the CPU. And actually, it is, they still use the, they use their new um, the, the new power stage. That's the new MOSFET uh, thing they are introducing. Gigabyte is introducing the, this time this year for computex. Um, as you can see, you can have four-way SLI and four-way crossfire on this one. And one thing that we can see is also they have PLX chips. That also one of the points that they are supporting PCI Express 3. So for future and next generation uh, VGA, it uh, will, will be nice. We are still waiting officially for Intel to comment on that, but actually PCI Express Generation 3 should be supported. And as you can see, there is a MSATA port on it. Uh, that can be interesting for people that want to you know, have the, the Intel uh, rapid storage, a smart response, Intel smart response uh, on their motherboard. Actually, it can be also used to have your system on it, and then you can just plug your external hard drive on uh, external storage directly on the on the board. That could be nice. As one of the uh, old uh, OC version, we have the SATA connector, power connectors to fit the uh, PCI Express line uh, with uh, enough gears. And for the overclockers like us, the OC gear button that would be quite interesting, you know, to to check the voltages and stuff like that. So we're gonna give you more information about that board because it's it's really interesting. It's like you know big size, and new stuff. We'll see how it performs against the others, and we're just waiting for the final design and final revision of that board. So hope you guys are gonna enjoy that one, and we're gonna see uh, what uh, are the other board for for Intel. See ya.